everybody, Possum Patty here and I'm junk journaling. Well, here we go. The first page in my nature junk journal. I've been collecting up mementos and photos and junk to make my pages with. One thing that I found was this poem titled, Falling. I am the leaf, feather light, feather free, freely floating on air. I am the leaf, freely floating, slowly falling through air. I am the leaf, slowly falling, softly landing on water. I am the leaf, softly landing, silently floating on water. I am the leaf, silently floating, swiftly flowing away. So I really wanted to keep the poem on the original paper, but obviously it's not going to fit into this book. I could fold it and then you unfold it and look at it, blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm going to do something quite complicated. And I look back into my second junk journal. This was an autumn theme, and on this page, I had made this pullout with all little school pictures attached to the school bus and hidden inside this picture of a schoolhouse that my grandmother had painted. So I was thinking maybe I could cut this into little blocks, mount them on cards, attach them to a leaf, and be able to pull it out because the poem is all about freely floating. And this way when I pulled it out, the little sections would be floating. And then I would hide that behind a picture of me. This is me in 2010 in Hawaii. Because it's got a nice forest theme in it. And then for the background of the page, I was going to put this forest because you see that goes quite nicely. And then I'd have the leaf here. And then when you pulled the leaf, the poem would come out from behind my picture. And this is a page from this book, Curious Naturalist. And I get these books at book sales and flea markets and tag sales. I usually don't pay very much money for them. And therefore I am free to use them in any way I see fit. So sometimes I might cut something out and put it in my nature journal, or in this case, I'm going to use it in my junk journal. Okay, step one, pick a page. So let's see, I think I could put it here, that might go good across from this page with the seeds and the leaves on them, although I might want to save this because I have some things for seeds. Could put it here. This looks like grass though. And let's see. Water, winter, spring. More water. And insects. I want to save that one for insects. So maybe I have some jungle for that one and that one and that one and that one. Oh, well this is leaves. 
So I think I can do a leave theme here. Okay, so I've picked my page, and what I'm going to do is I pull this out. So I tag my page with a red clip. This is where it will go back, and I'm just going to get this out of the way. I cut my book page to size, and this will get glued onto the foundation page. And then I'm going to take my photo and sew it on as a pocket. So I will sew three sides. And then I'm going to make the pullout with this leaf. And I'm going to be mounting each one of these stanzas of the poem on a card. Probably something like this. And then when I pull the leaf out, each stanza of the poem will come out. And then it can be tucked back into the pocket. Now the secret on this page is that there is a magnet in here and a magnet behind the background. So the bus just sits on top like that. So I'm just considering if I should put a magnet on the leaf. I could put the leaf out like that. So the magnet has to go on first before you glue the background on. So, so as you can see there's positive and negative poles on these magnets. So you want, this one will get glued down this way and this one will get, whoops, glued down to the back of the leaf this way. So you're going to take one positive and one negative magnet. Now I have to mark where I want these magnets. I want the leaf to be close by the pocket because I want to hide the strings that the home is going to be on, but I don't want it to cover my face. You can put it something like this. Just peel off the little sticker. Put it on the back like that. Oh, and these are self-adhesive, super slim, and seriously strong disc magnets by the Basic Gray Company. I think I'm going to go with here. Just pull the sticker off. 
line up the paper, press down, and now we're good. Get my glue sheet, and let's see. I think I'll use this mono, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. My background paper dried, came out pretty good, nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and stitch around and make a pocket right there. I have my background, I have my pocket, zigzag stitch around. I have my little leaf that's going to be the top of my pull. My magnets are in place and now I need to work on my poem. So I'm going to cut little squares and then back them with a card to make them a little sturdier. Okay, I added one layer to the back of this. I guess I could have used any paper because now I got to glue it to another piece because I'm going to add the string. So I got out my embroidery floss and maybe blue. Sky blue, this will work. Okay, I have to leave some at the top because that gets attached to the leaf. And then a little space in between each so it looks like it's floating on air. And I'm going to put two 
two or three strips, I think. Okay, now I'm going to glue my little poem ladder to the leaf.
Okay, I'm gluing the leaf onto this card. The card will be the backing. But this leaf looks kind of plain, so I think we'll do some glitter. My leaf is almost dry, so I cut it out. So now it has a backing on it. And my poem is attached. I have my background in my pocket. Okay, this is how you fold it to put it inside. You start with the bottom and put each card on top like that. And then you just stick it in the pocket. Remember this has a magnet in it so it's going to grab itself right there. And there you have it. Page one in my Nature Junk Journal. And I marked my place with this little red clip. So I'm going to put it back inside. And when you get here, you just pick this up and pull out the poem. Okay, thanks for watching and I'm going to gather up some stuff to create page two in my nature junk journal. Thanks for junk journaling with Possum Patty. Bye bye.